couple of months ago, I uh, had a Harbor Freight gift card, and I didn't really need anything, and I saw they had just come out with this uh, roof-mounted cargo carrier, so I decided to order one. I had to order it online um, because there was something new that wasn't in the stores yet, and it arrived. The box was in pretty good. It came by FedEx, and um, actually, it, once I opened it there, you could see there was actually a lot of paint that was, you know, rubbed off in areas where it hit the box and stuff, and... Um, you know, it was kind of rubbed through and stuff. And then when I really started looking at it, there were a lot of sections where the paint was actually damaged before it was put in the box, missing paint, stuff like that. Um, the hard, this is really poor quality for Harbor Freight. Lately, the, I've been having good luck with their stuff. But, uh, you know, this was really a crummy finished job on this thing. And it's, it's no excuse for it at all because you can see this was done before it was packed and left the factory. But anyhow, I figure I'll, uh, I'll just take and paint it anyway. So came with some hardware to mount. And I'm not going to use a lot of that hardware because I'm mounting this on the golf cart. Then I went to assemble it only to find out that all these pieces, uh, it looks like they had been welded up separately in separate fixtures or something like that. And none of the pieces of the tubing lined up. The spacing between them was off and the, um, the angles of them and everything else was off. So this turned into a um, what should have been a five minute job actually wound up taking me almost an hour and a half to get this thing together. Just trying to do some tweaking and you know using some 2 by 4s here to try to tweak it apart and stuff. But everything was welded so solid that it was really hard to, to get them to just move a little bit without damaging them. In the meantime, UPS stops while I'm doing this, and here the, the next two replacement cabinets for the damaged one. You can see the boxes, uh, the foam's all banged up on them and stuff. I, um, they really don't look that great, so this one here is actually upside down. It was shipped. You can see the arrows facing up. And I decided to, you know, just open the first one up quick. And sure enough, right down there in the bottom, you can see on the outside where the box had been bashed in and um, the front of the drawer was, was damaged and uh, smashed in. So there's another cabinet damaged. And it turned out that the other one actually had damage on the back too. Um, there you can see the whole front of the drawer was smashed in on this one. So that makes a uh, number eight cabinet going back. And then FedEx came and they delivered a package to me and the driver was embarrassed to give it to me. This is what it looked like. Luckily, it was a, um, a tool that couldn't be damaged, but I just can't believe the shipping damage. So now it's back to trying to put this thing together. Um, and uh, it just just was a beast to try to get everything to line up on it. Um, it just wasn't properly welded in alignment at the factory, it looks like. And uh, you can see it's a, uh, you know, everything, there's so many cross pieces welded in there that it's really not easy to move anything the way that you, there you need to spread it out a little bit and stuff. So um, I fought with it for a while and I got some, some clamps to try to pull things level and try to get things in line, push it together and stuff like that. But, um, you know, it really did turn into being a, a big hassle. Um, so if you do get one of these things, plan on, uh, hopefully you get a better one than I did. But if you don't plan on, you know, messing around with this thing for like an hour and a half to get it together. And you will finally resort to a hammer in the end. So I, uh, I just kept getting different sized pieces of wood to fit in there and try to just tweak things a little bit and get things to line up. And um, it really, uh, you know, the same thing over and over again and started beating on it with a piece of wood there. Just I didn't have my hammer out at that time yet, but uh, it's just uh, there's no easy way to move these, uh, these bars into alignment. So, um, you know, I'm going to give this thing a one-star rating, what I see so far between the finish and uh, the poor quality of build. There you see all the paint's all scraped off before I even put it together. So I just kept fiddling and uh, prying and trying to tweak just a little bit at a time until I finally did start to get things to move into alignment so I could uh, get them together and... Actually, a big woodworking clamp there did wind up helping in the end to really, um, once I got a little bit started, to kind of squeeze it all together. 
I'm actually starting to wonder if Harbor Freight's quality is going down since they've been expanding into all these new, you know, different lines and different items and stuff like this. Because, um, you know, I never had a problem before with a Harbor Freight item like this. So I did uh, finally get everything tweaked into uh, alignment and I was able to get that front section on there now. And uh, it's all, all ready to just uh, go back and put some screws in there. So it came with some self-tapping screws. There actually were some rubber things you were supposed to put over these uh, joints, but I didn't bother with them. Uh, and then there's some self-tapping screws. And the screws themselves really weren't that good. The heads on them were very soft. And also they're self-tapping screw, but the... Um, the tubing metal actually uh, kind of ate away the self-tapping section, so it made it a real beast to get them in. And luckily, they did give you a couple extra, so you could, uh, you know, change them out. But they uh, they just were not a, uh, you know, what I expected for a self-tapping screw. It's not like something that you'd buy at Home Depot. They were definitely um, a lower quality. So after fiddling for a while, I uh, was able to get most of the screws in. Now, um, one of the screws, actually, I went to tighten it down, and the head actually snapped off. So that was another problem you'll see in a second. But you can see these screws are real soft, and the threads are coming right off them. And then there was that uh, front plate on it that I decided I was going to take off because now I've got to paint the thing anyway. So I figure I'll take those stickers off that were on it and I'll put my own stickers on now that i got to, you know, sand it down because it had a bunch of scratches and stuff in it. So that only was held in place with four screws here, luckily. And you can see there's paint missing underneath where it was and stuff. And that's that one screw that the head snapped off. I went in, I put it in, I went to tighten it a little bit, and boom, twisted right off. So now I'm just going to drill another hole alongside of it. And, you know, like I said, luckily there were a couple extra screws in there, and I'm just going to put another screw next to it there. But definitely, um, no, it's not, not what I expected, and uh, it's not a quality hardware that they include with this kit. So it was, it turned a, uh, you know, this was a five minute job that I wound up turning into almost two hours by the time I was at this point here. And well, there it is outside all put together. You can see it looks pretty good now that it's together. Um, and I decided to take 220 sand sanding paper and I went over the whole thing to sand off all the bad spots and to blend all the rub spots together and to, um, you know, remove all the chips and stuff like that. So that did take quite a while to. To, to sand everything on it all those little pieces of the tube and stuff are you know definitely a pain to sand around and then I had a can of a uh, luckily I had a can of rust-oleum black that I just decided to paint everything with that and that did uh, come out that came out pretty nice in the end so you know it did it did wind up turning into extra work but at least there were no dents or anything in the tubing that made it look bad so just sanding and a paint job fixed it. And then I uh, decided to cut some new decals on my Cameo 3 there for the front of the cart. Now this I was pushing it to the uh, 24 inch limit of this uh, bigger cutting mat there. And there's the, uh, the final decal that I made for the top of it up there. So now to mount it, I didn't, I didn't mount it the way that they show you because it's made to be mounted onto those crossbars on a luggage rack. I uh, actually wound up getting everything centered on the top there and using those brackets and um, just drilling holes into the uh, plastic golf cart top there. I'm going to go back and put a little bit of silicone in the holes later and seal everything up so it won't leak. But that's what the easiest way for me to do it. And uh, it doesn't matter if it leaks a little. So I didn't use any of those U-brackets that they give your handles. And you can see I put some pieces of foam underneath it because of the shape of it. But I've actually ordered some thicker uh, black foam to make it look nice. So I'm going to change that out when it gets here. And I put carriage bolts in and... 
Um, when I first put them in here, I put them in for the carriage at the top, but later I did go back and I turned them around so that the threaded area, okay, there it is, that threaded area that you see sticking down now is actually up in the top area there. So there it is all mounted on, and I got my new sticker put on the front there. I've been loving that Cameo 3. It's so much fun to play with. And I just sort of dragged it outside to try to get some uh, little bit better video of what it looks like. It, You know, it's a really nice size for on top of the golf cart there, and uh, it's going to be really handy. I've been moving around 2x4s and ladders and stuff like that with this cart and just dropping them on the top, but it's kind of round, so it's hard to keep anything flat on it so this will make it real easy to um you know move bigger stuff around plus we're using it for extra garden veggies too now and i did find a couple nice uh pink buckets to match the cart too down at uh, walmart that i'm going to put some of those little gopher stickers on when i get a chance there'll be the permanent buckets for it so in the end it you know, it turned out it looks nice on the golf cart. It's just about the right size and everything. And for the price, I guess you really can't expect it to be perfect. So it did turn out nice with a, you know, a little bit of bending and a nice coat of paint on it and a new sticker on it there. I don't know. This thing would be kind of tiny looking on a car, though. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.